morning, everyone. Welcome to Wake Up Missoula. My name is Noelle McAvoy. And I'm Scott Ramp. And that was Asaph Adonai on piano with that lovely intro. Uh, happy Friday, everyone. Uh, TGIF. Yes. We hope that you guys have had a great week. It's been a hot week. Yeah, it's been a sure. pretty hot it's week. It's been good. It's mm-hmm. been our second week of our stop motion animation camp, which yep. has been pretty successful. They're all very, last week was kind of crazy, and they're all kids that we knew and that we've known for a while that have been to our camps before. And then this week, they're all, so half of them are new, and then they're all really quiet. They're all really chill and quiet. Yeah. Um, there's one team that has just made nothing but sequels of their movie the whole entire <laughs> time. Just like all Five Nights at Freddy videos, like and the whole entire Five week. Nights at Freddy is like this weird kid video game that's really scary, and it's got weird toys, and it's it's I like you, it. it's a, you work at an animatronic, um, a food cafe place yeah. and then you're supposed to be the night shift worker and apparently these robots come to life late at night it's it's weird it's supposed to be like, it's supposed sure. to be super creepy but yeah. it's it's the new generation they 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 they're obsessed with like youtube subscriptions and like it's like if you weren't on the ground floor when YouTube was big in 2004. Yeah. 2004. I was posting videos. I my friend and I used to uh, light things on fire in my backyard and then put take videos of it and put it on YouTube. Now we put and this I've on been, YouTube. I've been searching for him. I've been searching for him, but I can't find him. Weird. I know. Is it part of your an old email or yeah, something? Yeah, old email, like something from 10 years ago. I don't even remember what they're called. Don't yeah. even remember my email. Don't remember anything. Well, well, but like with most businesses and most like things, I think that they might even delete something that's older I, than seven I, years. I'm sure. Because it's like old paper shows. It's like you're legally... Uh, allowed to delete old documents that are older than seven years old. It, I'm pretty sure it was from like 2007. Yeah. Yeah. So that's I, that's how long your paper trail has to be legally. Yeah. It's 10 whatever. years. It's seven years. Seven years. Yeah. It's like it's weird. It's like because mm-hmm. like Joel was like saying it's like oh we're audited and like mm-hmm. MCAT's audited every year. We just had our auditors come in. Uh, I think it was like last week. Yeah. Yeah. They and they were here week. during the summer camp and it was yeah. kind of getting crazy and I'd always peek in and they see and it's like. It's crazy. That's, uh, how do you guys concentrate you with them screaming and running? Yeah. And <laughs> if like, they would have just done screaming. it one week before, it wouldn't have had an issue. Yeah. But of course, um, yesterday was super hot. But of course, you can expect today to be at least a little bit cooler. Last night was cold. Um, we like I opened the window. It was still pretty hot, and then it cooled really fast, like mm-hmm. almost like twenty degrees. And I was like, oh, I was. I woke up kind of shivering. And then I had another like two hours of sleeping, and then I I just didn't sleep well at last uh, I didn't either. last night. Yeah. And of course tonight you have a thirty percent chance of thunderstorms happening tonight with Ooh. a um, going down to twenty percent tonight with a low of uh, forty nine and a high of eighty one. Your Saturday is gonna be seventy six. It's gonna be super nice on a Saturday. Nice, cool, not too hot. It's yeah. gonna be basically spring this weekend. <laughs> and uh, Sunday you're gonna things are heating up, uh, and then by Monday you you'll be nice and warm for our. Uh, zombie camp week. So we're doing a zombie, um, MCAT zombie camp. Yes. Or Zim, MCAT zombie workshop. Because yeah, we it's, can't it's, say camp. Teens don't like the word camp. Yeah, but, but we, got, we got a lot of younger teens. We and do. I think the oldest kid we have is about 16, 15. Cool. So we didn't get any 17, 18 year olds besides the ones who are counseling. Which Neil and. Um, makes sense. Which is fine. It's yeah. cool. But we're excited. Uh, a couple of the kids we've had before, so they'll be yeah. fun. And it'll just be There's fun a- to get makeup done and dress up like zombies and then run around. Yep. There's a big team. chunk of kids that I don't recognize their name. Oh, for really? sure. So Good. I'm, it's going to be an interesting learning curve for a lot of them who don't mm-hmm. understand MCAT and all that stuff. But of course, if you want to under- understand MCAT, you can log on to our website, MCAT.org, where you can learn all about MCAT. You can watch our channels, 189 or 190, live streaming from our website. And of course, um, you can also look at uh, other live stuff and other information and fill out forms and wonderful things. Just, you know, fill out forms. And you can also uh, like us on our Facebook page. <laughs> you can follow us on Twitter at MCAT TV Missoula. Wake Up Missoula also has a Twitter page. You can follow us at Wake Up Missoula. Wake Up Missoula also has a Facebook. Just like us on there. And to find out more information, wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula is our website. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, also, if you just type in Wake Up Missoula, Missoula on Google, we're, we pop up. Yep. Yeah, we're and everywhere. Be sure to subscribe to uh, MCAT TV or MCAT Television on YouTube and, of course, Wake Up Missoula also on YouTube as well. Um, I have an art clip. I want to yeah. highlight this art clip because it's the last day we're going to play this art clip and then we have another art clip we'll show later in the show between events. Um, but before that, this is uh, Animophilia by Larry Thompson featured at the Missoula Art Museum. And when we come back, I'll talk about what's new on MCAT tonight.
Hey, hey welcome guys. back. Oh, we're a little bit louder. I can, oh, yeah. I, I can kind of barely hear myself, but um, yeah. So uh, we have some new clips, and of course, I do want to talk over uh, through our uh, MCAT website about how you can find okay. content and um, where you, where if you're looking for a program on MCAT that you uh, that we filmed a month or so ago, and you want to watch it, you can watch it live, or you can watch it anytime on a video on demand website. So if we go to MCAT.org. We'll zoom in so you guys can see either 189 or 190. It doesn't really matter, but we're just going to go to 189 because that's more of a community type programming. And as you can see, um, as you can see, as you can see, um, if you look, it's usually the newest program gets posted up first. Everything gets pushed down. So of course, we had three new programs since our Wednesday show. But of course, most of the program gets um, inserted in way beforehand. So you're more than likely to watch by clicking on this uh, nice little tab up on top. You can watch live what's going on in 189, which is us. But of course, you can go to see entire schedule, which gives you a nice outline of everything that's going on on MCAT right here. So you have all this great content today. Of course, we will be replaying our show at 2 p.m. this afternoon. But of course, if you click on it now, you'll just show Wednesday's show. What do the green arrows mean? The green arrows mean that you can watch any time. These are the video on demand things. So if you click on this video, you can watch a very special episode of Look Before You Speak so featuring you Catherine have, Mallory. So you don't have to wait until 6.30. If you see that green arrow right next to it, you can watch it right now mm -hmm. or at noon. Yep. Or you can wait till 6.30. Yep. You can watch ASAP Cafe. Mm -hmm. You can watch uh, American... Well, you can't watch American Inspiration until tonight on MCAT. Of course, yeah. then there's building to overturn the Citizens United, how we pass the 20th Amendment. But of course, I have a wonderful clip from that right. as well. So, nice. um... Let's Let me just out. get that ready, and then when we come back, we'll have events with Noel. And I have a very, and then later in the show, I have uh, another stop animated video I want to show you guys to wrap up our Friday show, and of course the end of the month for um, yes. our show because so we're let's, not let's we're taking next week off. Yeah, so next week we've got our zombie camp, and it's gonna start. It's gonna go from nine to five, so that doesn't leave us very time to very much time to do our show, upload it online. So we're gonna take a week off to focus on our camp. I, I'm so. just choosing like sheer laziness for I, it. like that's my reasoning behind it. I don't. I, I just said that no. Well, no because, you know we have our zombie camp. I just don't want to like deal well, we with have, our show and the zombie camp. I just want to concentrate on one thing. Well, the there's whole week. no realistic way that we'd be able to do our morning show and then upload our show online right after that and then receive all these gifts. Yeah, because our show's on from eight to nine, mm -hmm. and it really depends. Like our show can be nine. our show can be like. And at nine, mm -hmm. or it can end like thirty-five to forty minutes. It's usually like yeah. a thirty-five to forty-minute window. It's, it never is any shorter. It, I'm always like looking at the clock over to my right, and I'm always like, uh, uh, mm -hmm. and it's always like it's like twenty-nine um, minutes into the show, and like Noel's in the middle of uh, Saturday events. I'm just yeah. like, that's not gonna happen. Nope. So. Um, yeah, anyways, <laughs> new programming is on tonight on MCAT, and it's all at 9.30, and of course, uh, I do highly suggest you guys watch um, my produced show um, with Steve Glukert, former uh, curator at the Museo Art Museum. It's called Look Before You Speak, and of course, I'll talk a little bit more about it later on the show. I might even show a part of that clip from the video on demand. Maybe not. I don't know. Here's tonight's new programming. Just like Representative Garner says, uh, you don't complain, you roll up your sleeves and you do something. You say the truth and then you try to fix it. And that's what Justice Nelson, Representative Garner, and so many of you are doing. So that, I'm here to say why we need the 28th Amendment, but this is really about how we get the 28th Amendment. There's no other way. It's a very hard process. We need two thirds of Congress to pass the amendment. We need three quarters of the states to ratify it. But the reason I emphasize the Montana experience is because you've done it before, over and over again. We as a country have done it before. Eight times we've overturned the Supreme Court with amendments. 27 amendments, including our Bill of Rights, weren't in the Constitution. The American people made them get in there by winning constitutional amendments just the same way we're gonna do this one. Hello, you guys, we are back. And this is what's going on in your community. Today, on Friday, so what I have, I have children's activities for your morning and day, and then I've got um, some music to keep you entertained for the evening. So at first, starting at 9.30 a.m. over at Ms. Mo Gymnastics is Family Fun Time. It's an open gym for ages walking to 12 years of age. Uh, at 10.30 is Tiny Tales of the Missoula Public Library. This is for babies ages birth through three years, and they sing songs, learn finger plays, hear nursery rhymes, and hear stories. 
Family story time is also at 10.30. It's also at the Missoula Public Library. This is for an older crowd. They hear a story on the dragon rug and then they do um, an activity afterward. The rice table is at the Children's, Children's Museum of Missoula starting at 11. And then over at Spectrum Discovery area is a building with biology. So starting at 11 until 6 is free admission all day long. And their theme is building with biology, uh, which will be fun hands-on activities facilitated by science by scientists in the field of synthetic biology, biology, chemistry, genetics, or other related science fields. Cool. Sounds crazy. Uh, over the public library, they've got their kids' table. The feeding begins at 11.30, and for ages 18 and under, you can go in there and get a free lunch and then do some activities afterward. Over at Taste Buds Kitchen, they've got Create the Rainbow Cooking Camp for ages 9 to 13 at 1 p.m. It's only $45 for the day to drop in. Sorry, there's a bug in front of my face. It's flying all around. It's distracting me. <laughs> what are those arms? Where'd those arms come from? <laughs> Over here. Ah. Okay. Over at the public library, we've got our teen writers group at 3.30. Uh, and that goes until 5.30. That'll be in the small meeting room. Across the street is their spider feeding at the Missoula Butterfly House and Insectarium starting at 4. And then we uh, go into our music for the evening. So there's traditional Irish music at the Union Club at 6 p.m. The Captain Wilson Conspiracy will be playing Ten Spood Vineyard and Winery also at 6. Uh, good Old Fashion will be playing the Montana Distillery also at 6 o'clock. Divers, Mass FM, and Iron Eyes are going to be at the VFW at 9. It'll be $7 if you're 21 and older, but at $10 if you're 18. 406 will be playing at the Sunrise Saloon at 9.30. Zeppa Montana will be playing at the Union Club also at 9.30. And our last event for today uh, is the Top Hat Lounge is hosting the Dodgy Mountain Men at 10 o'clock, and that's a free show. So that's what I've got going on on Friday. Of course, a little short, but that's that'll keep your kids entertained and you entertained for the evening. I hope you guys find babysitters. But we're switching gears now over to Musical Notes with ASAP Adonai. African-American Philadelphia police chief is in the rural south in Spada, Mississippi, visiting his mother when he is accused of murder. While being interrogated at the police station, the police chief discovers that our guest is a detective. When the police chief and our guest have a disagreement over how the murder was committed, and when the police chief finds out our guest's name, he says, that's a funny name for a nigga boy from Philadelphia. What do they call you up there? And he says, they call me Mr. Tibbs. And that's an iconic classic line starting in 1967 that is just as relevant today in 2016 as it was when it first came out. That classic iconic line is from the 1967 film In the Heat of the Night. And our guest, known to the world as Sir Sidney Poitier, and there he is. What's interesting about this actor here is he made a series of movies that dealt with racial issues in 1967. Three of his classic films, one was Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, and Lilies in the Field was the second one, and of course, um, In the Heat of the Night, which launched off the series with Carol O'Connor a few years later. And this clip here, this is a, a scene from Guess who's coming to dinner? Basically, he is engaged to this Caucasian lady, and so she takes him to meet the family. But it was more difficult when he took her to meet the African American side of the family. And, you know, it's just amazing how things like that still go on. There's the uh, two actors that played his parents. And now let's show uh, Sydney in action real quick. Let's show that scene from In the Heat of the Night. Bird's here, Chief. He thinks that Harvey's innocent. I'll be damned. Could I talk to you about it in private? No, you can't talk to me about it in private, see, because I got Kovac's wallet right here in my hand. We took it from Harvey Overs. You don't think he gave it to him, do you? I don't know, but Overs could have come along after the crime, found it, picked it up. I don't know. That's what the boy said he did. Well, I'm sorry, man, but I said different. Well, when I examined the deceased, it was obvious that the fatal blow was struck from an angle of 17 degrees from the right, which makes it... Uh, Almost certain the person who did it is right-handed. So what? Oh, Harvey's left-handed, Chief. Everybody in town knows that. Yeah, uh, that, that's what we figured out, Chief. Uh, Harvey's lefty, uh-huh. <laughs> well, you 
pretty sure of yourself, ain't you, Virgil? Virgil, that's a funny name for a bigger boy that comes from Philadelphia. What do they call you up there? They call me Mr. Tibbs. You Mr. Right Tibbs! Well, that, that just gives you an idea. <laughs> <laughs> and um, He just gets Mr. angrier. Tibbs. Yeah, and that's those were the kind of films that he made which were very relevant. Another classic film was of his is called To Serve With Love. That's where he goes to England and he serves in the inner city in the English neighborhood with the rough kids there and they finally accept him at the end of the movie but he had to go through the trials not only of the kids in the city but their parents and that whole community and very quickly um, let's talk about him for a second Sir Sidney Poitier he is a bohemian American actor film director author and a diplomat in 1964, Sidney Poitier became the first Bohemian and the first African American to win an Academy Award for Best Actor for the movie I mentioned, Lilies of the Field. And he starred in the three successful films that I already mentioned, making him the top box office star of that year. In 1999, the American Film Institute named him the greatest male star of the classic Hollywood cinema, rank, ranking him number 22 of the list of 25. And then 38 years after receiving the best award, he was chosen by the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Science to receive the Academy Honorary Award for recognition and remarkable accomplishments as an artist and as a human being. And he served as a non-resident Bohemian ambassador in Japan from 97 to 2007, and he was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the United States' highest civilian honor by President Barack Obama. And finally, in 2016, this year, he was awarded the BAFTA Fellowship for Outstanding Lifetime Achievement in Film. Cool. So your audience can look up any one of these films or any of the other movies he's done since then. He's worked with everybody in Hollywood, past and present. Wait, is he still around? Yeah, he is 89 years old. 89, wow. 89 is Sweet. still going strong. Nice. Cool, well thank you very much, Asa. Sure. That was Musical Notes with Asa <laughs> Fadana, everyone. Now we're switching gears again, and we're going to events for your Saturday. So for Saturday, it's supposed to be warm, as Scott was telling us earlier. So I've got stuff to keep you guys outdoors and entertained, and then some music for your evening. It's going to be a perfect Saturday. Yeah, it's going to be a wonderful Saturday. Get out there, float. You, so you're going to start your morning off with the Missoula Farmer's Market. So we've got the one at the Red X's at 8 a.m. Clark Fork Market is down at Karis Park. That's at 8 a.m. And then in between those is the Missoula People's Market on Pine Street in front of the Thomas Mar Bar. That starts at 9. Uh, over at Kearns Aquatic Center, they've got a Bitterroot River Float. It starts at 10 a.m. It's from 10 to 4. It's $35 um, and then $30 if you're a member. And so the fee includes instruction, equipment, and transportation. Uh, they ask that you dress for the weather, bring water, sacks, uh, snacks, lunch, if food is not provided, okay, yeah, and lunch, food is not provided um, as part of the program. Kids under 10 are free with adult registration, but they ask that you only limit to two free kids per adult. Cool, that, that, that sounds pretty good, right? Yeah. Uh, so, over at Traveler's Rest State Park, which is located at 6717 Highway 12 out in Lolo, they have got their Trekker Kids All About Habitats. So it's a series of activities and programs geared towards children five to ten years old, and it always the program always celebrates the outdoors in the wonderful uh, state that we live in. So it's going to be all about ha habitats today, tomorrow, starting at eleven. Also at eleven in French Town State French Town Pond State Park, they have paddleboard lessons. That starts at 11, that goes until 12.30, and then there's another, another session from 1 to 2.30. Cost is only $45 for an hour and a half lesson. They provide all the equipment. You just go for the fun. Cool. Over at the Garden of 1000 Buddhas are out in our Lee. Um, at 1 o'clock, they've got their interpretive guided tour of the garden. And then at 2 o'clock, they have meditation classes. So this happens all summer long through October. Over at Meadow Sweet Herbs, there is an herb walk with Justine Sweet. Uh, it starts at 2 p.m. So they're going to walk along the Clark Fork River, ta River Trail, and they're going to learn about medicinal and edible herbs that are grown in our area. <laughs> Sweet, man. Yeah, I feel like that would be a really interesting thing to know and a good thing to know. Uh, over at Karis Park at 4 p.m. tomorrow, they've got their Big Sky Barbecue. 
Uh, so this is has live and local music. It also has a bunch of barbecue from all the places around Missoula. Uh, Big Mike's Barbecue, Burn Street Bistro, Covered Wagon Hot Dogs, Dickies, Barbecue Pit, Notorious P.I.G., Fuddruckers, even Albertsons is gonna be there. Remember when uh, Dickies was downtown? Yeah. It was so awkward. It was really awkward. I mean, nothing against Dickies or anything like that. Is that? And, and it's not because I'm a vegetarian or anything like that, but um, it's, it's a terrible location, just in that one area next to all the bars and all that mm -hmm. stuff. And it's like, it's not even open late at night. If it no. was, people would be like, blah, 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 blah. And like, you want barbecue while you're drunk? That sounds <laughs> awful. You, you want to eat anything that's greasy and disgusting when you're drunk. I guess so. Yeah, that's why people go to the Oxford. <laughs> that's why, I yeah, but like, it's all about pie hole. <laughs> it's all like, about pie hole. <laughs> Oxford. Uh, you gotta come in here sometime. Yeah. <laughs> At least once. <laughs> it's true. But yeah, um, I did a, um, a couple of years back, I did a uh, barbecue, uh, Northwestern um, competition barbecue oh. shoot. Uh -huh. And it was like, well, they uh, well, they had judges and stuff like that. And um, they had like six different categories of meat. And so I was just like, uh, and then we were cooking <laughs> it. And um, it, it was interesting because they got these uh, barbecue ists. Mm -hmm. uh, they're throwing a lot of ists around. Barbecue experts. Yes, and they were cooking, and um, it was a Montana one that made that won. It was oh. it was Mo uh, big Montana Thai, and they're Man. the people who used to own Thai Spicy. Oh. Yeah, I mean, well, they still they're still around. They, they got, got their like, cart. They have yeah. their cart, and now of course they uh, have big Montana Thai, and they do their um, thing at the out to lunch and all that stuff. Cool. And they're, yeah, they're pretty See? solid. That sounds good. Nice little. Um, maroon truck for sure. Yeah, barbecue yeah. is really delicious. I like it. It's fun. I'm glad I'm not a vegetarian or a vegan. <laughs> you can still get all that stuff without the meat. <laughs> Whatever, Scott. Whatever's Noel. Poor vegan Scott. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't poor. <laughs> okay, over I'm living comfy. Now we have music for your Saturday. So over at Big Side Brewing Company, there is a concert. We've got Sublime with Rome, Dirty Heads, Tribal Seeds, and Bleaker. Uh, it starts at 6.30. And so Sublime, I don't know how many of the original members are still with them. I know that back in the day, it was only three of them. And and then um, Bradley died, which was their lead singer. Oh. And so I don't know if the drummer and the guitarist is still around, and they just have a different lead singer if they've got different members. But you can't really call it Sublime if there's only one original member. <clears throat> Whatever, I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded like a fake cough. It was. Thank um, you. Good job, Scott. I picked up on that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so over in the open space tomorrow at 7.30 in the Park TV building at the university, there is a mountain dance fest in concert. So that is celebrating the week of dance training and choreography with live performance and original video. They will have a, uh, they have like an artist in residence or a, a dancer that came and visited and then taught all these cool dances and now they're gonna show it to you guys. Pretty sweet. We've got some movies and music. The movie Cult, they're showing The Goonies at the Roxy at 8 o'clock tomorrow, so you guys don't want to miss that. Tango at the Missoula Winery, uh, that's at 8. Absolutely with Chris Moon at the Badlander at 9. Over at Monks, they've got our summer sessions with a couple, there's some rappers out there. Codependence, Cove Court, and M Mad will be at 9 o'clock at Monks. Uh, over at the VFW, they have Tongue Party, Shell, and Petunia. That's all going to be playing at 9. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Dumbest band names. Um, and then Lockstar Cartel is going to be at the Top Hat Lounge at 10. I love that band. Yeah, so I also have Sunday events for you guys, but before we go to that, we're going to show our brand new art clip. And it, uh, we've only shown it once this week, and it's the last time we're going to show it this week and for the rest <laughs> of ever and it's from the clay studio i got it like uh on monday like monday or tuesday afternoon or whatever i found it, it as like oh our clip and then yeah it ends next friday which we won't even be here for that so uh here is uh the clay studio featuring black white and everything in between at the clay studio and it's going on until next friday so you gotta check it out <laughs> Thank you. 
forget that that always stops abruptly but of it course uh, here is your Sunday events with Noel and you know if there's Sunday events there's something special going on in Missoula take it away well thank you very much Scott okay so this is what's going on on Sunday okay so at Splash Montana there's a swimathon it starts at 9 a.m. so they have a team of four swimmers you get pledges per lap or flat amount and they can swim as much as you can in two hours to raise the level of donations um, but starting at 9 a.m., that sounds like it's going to be really cold, so I don't... You just swim until you pass out, and then they save you. Yeah. Yep. You literally swim until you pass out, and then they give you money. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> starting at 9 a.m. Yeah! Right at the coldest time. Yeah! Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. But the pool should be heated from the days before. They didn't think this through. And all the uh, all the pee in the pool. Oh, yeah. It makes everything so warm. It makes everything warm. <laughs> and gross. Sick. That's when I have chlorine. <laughs> Alright, moving on now. <laughs> okay, so there's an event called Revive Thrive. This is at Trupper, Tupper's Lake, starting at 10 a.m. So uh, this is a celebration, this is the Volunteer Work Party celebration of the Clearwater Blackfoot Project. See so if you guys know what that is, or where Tupper's Lake is, you could go to that. I don't know, I didn't do my research, sorry everyone. Uh, there is a fly fishing class at 11 a.m. on Sunday. You can call to reserve your spot, 406-728-7766. Um, it's from 11 to 1 on Sunday, so there's a small class, two to five people. Um, and it didn't say where it was, so just give them a call and find out. There's Ula at the Barn Movement Studio at 1.30. And then we take a big break, and my last event for Sunday, there's gonna be a movie at the Roxy. It's called Mindful Movies, Heart of a Dog. Um, and so Mindful Movies is a series of films that make us aware of our thoughts, emotions, and our experiences. So Heart of a Dog looks like it's gonna be really sad. It's about an artist who reflects on the deaths of her husband, mother, beloved dog, and their subjects such as family memories, surveillance, and Buddhist teachings. That sounds really sad, yeah. But on the bright side, that's what's going on in your community. As always, check out MissoulaEvents.net, the University of Montana website, The Independent, and The Missoulian for more events. Yep. But now we've got a um, little stop motion movie yes. that our kids have played. So we've got- uh, I, I spent all, pretty much half the day yesterday mm -hmm. helping um, our, our boy Dylan mm -hmm. edit his movie. Of course, he shot it all. And then of course, I added um, some sounds and added my voice, he added his voice. And then of course, his, his helper Josh also um, did the voice yeah. as well. And he's been working on this for like yeah, a couple days. He's really proud of this and he laughed so hard. It was awesome. Did he? he <laughs> yeah, really he's so it. cute. Yeah. yeah, so he's been working on this for a couple days. It's like I didn't get a I didn't get to show it Thursday night because we I ran out of time. Yeah, it's like two minutes long too. I was thinking, well, he wasn't here to talk about it either. Yeah, I wanted him to like talk about it. But this is kind of like a prelude to all the um, videos we're going to be mm -hmm. showing of Stop Animation this Friday, today. Yep. At five p.m. It's going to be live. live. And the kids are going to be talking about their movies. It's going to be wonderful. And uh, yeah, I mean, we're not going to have as much movies as we did last week because a bunch of kids are just like putting yeah. them all out. They have, yeah. they're, sure, they're, they're crazy, but these kids are mellow and chill. There's one group that made like five or six of them, yeah. and that was Chase and Keegan because they just did not stop for anything. Because they love it. They yeah. love it. Love stop yeah. motion. But yes, this is a movie from our friend Dylan that he made over the next past few days with help from Scott and mm -hmm. Josh. We're gonna die out here, what are we going to do? I want the trophy. Need to get to that vantage point. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Spaghetti. Oh. 
Ooh, an apple. Ew, blood. <laughs> you shall be avenged. Uh. Uh. Huh? I got you, Chubby. I got you, Chubby. I hate that guy. That Chubby is mine, and I'm gonna get it back. Is that bad? Is that bad? Like TD too? Mmm, I like fish. Let's go get that trophy. Let's go. Good luck getting your trophy back. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get them. <laughs> I'm on it. You. See you, little. You want this trophy? You gonna have to get to me. Bring it, big boy. Uh... Ouch. Oh. Goodbye. Uh, bye. Time to walk home. Oh. And so concludes Wake Up Missoula. Oh, of course. Yes. I did want to tease a little bit about uh, Look Before You Speak. Oh. So I might as well just show a little bit of that. Um, it's featuring um, Catherine Mallory. And, uh, let's go and so with... tell us about Look Before You Speak. Give Look us... Before You Speak yeah. is a wonderful show on MCAT that got started by uh, Stephen Glukert uh, and Joel Baird. And I produce it. I'm the one who's in the back room uh, switching it. And then I add the texts of their names and whatnot, and they uh, bring in um, me, um, art lovers from all around Montana and more. We, we got a guy from, um, who actually is from Missoula, but also um, we Skyped him in from nice. Ireland. Cool. So we did that. Uh, nice. But it's, it's, it's a great uh, program. You should definitely check it out. Uh, we have a 12 episode season and the season's about to wrap up. Uh, we're filming a couple, we're filming about uh, four more. Um, Set in uh, August and September, and then we'll see about renewing it for a new season. Cool. But of course, this is the, just the beginning part of it, and uh, here's a little taste of what you guys can see from Look Before You Speak. To think about the objects that they collect, think about the creative process, how what they look at, what they collect, really informs the things that they make. And so the exhibit was titled Accumulation Transformation. And uh, Marianne Bongiorni uses many kitsch found objects in her work. And so she has shown this collection of trophies with her actual artwork in the background. And um, Marianne just recently had an exhibit at the Missoula Art Museum not too long ago. And that was traveling through the Montana Art Gallery Directors Association. Of course, this is the uh, program, as you can see. And what they do is they usually linger on some of the photos or the paintings that they choose um, where they can talk about it more in detail because there's a lot of details in paintings that you can't really get through. Um, but it's always nice, you know, a picture is always worth, worth a thousand words, and they want to expand it on They definitely wanted to expand on that. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I think this show definitely does expand on it as well. Cool. What a neat idea for a show. Mm -hmm. it's and it's important. called Look Before You Speak. It's on YouTube. Uh, all uh, current eight episodes are on YouTube right now. And the next new episode will start coming in um, in September. Nice. Yep, cool. so it's like kind of like a mid-season finale, mid-season um, break. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. And it's back again, kind of like what they do with like The Walking Dead or something like oh, that. Oh, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's like, uh, uh this is the mid-season finale. Why don't you just show it all at once, like Game of Thrones, and just get it over with. Yeah, and then or like Netflix. just have to wait for a whole other yeah. year. But of course, you know, like with Netflix, it's like you watch your whole entire show, your whole entire series in like one sitting. I have, did, I have realized that I can't binge watch. I can binge watch like six episodes, six, yeah, seven episodes, exactly. and then I'm bored. And then I'm I mean, done, I, and I don't, I don't yeah. touch it again yeah, for, you don't for remember a while. Anything that happened. The, yeah. the, the nice thing and about the whole week by week release of shows is that you, you, you get it, but then you can dwell on it. Exactly. And you anticipate and you look forward to it. But when you binge watch, it just takes all the fun out it of it. It takes that. It really does. It's like, oh, I don't want to see that useless part of that. In that there are a lot thing. of good shows that I've watched like six or seven episodes of, and I'm like, well, I'm done with this now. 
Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to watch this anymore. Yeah. There's definitely a lot of good shows. Binge and there's watching. that darn fly again. There's this fly that's getting all over and it's distracting us. It's up in my grill and I'm about to spill its blood. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Scott, really funny. Yeah, there's a rap thing going on. Uh, <laughs> when was it? Is it like tomorrow? At stage 112? Yeah. It, yeah, it's... Well, Whatever it is, it's like, oh, is there a raptor going on? It's like, yeah. It's like, where is it? it where it's always at? Stage 112. Or... Oh, no, no, it's at Monks, sorry. Oh, at Monks? I said, oh, yeah, yeah Monks is definitely... I said yes, but I did not mean yes. I meant yes, I'm going to get that fly. Oh. So, I don't know. No. no. I wasn't making that joke. I think, though, that this means that our show should conclude. We should conclude our show, but of course, we want you guys to uh, like us on our all our social media platforms. So, but we'll start off with the website where you can. Um, get the link to our, all our social media waveforms, which is wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. So nice, we made you write it out twice. You can also Google us. You can like us on our Facebook page. You can follow us on Twitter at wakeupmissoula. Missoula Community Access Television also has a Twitter page at MCAT TV Missoula. You can like us on Facebook, and to find out more information, just check out MCAT.org. Yep, but of course, you can check out us again live on MCAT channel 189 at 5 p.m. today where we we'll feature all the kids and their videos um, today and the kids host the show um, the only thing I'm doing is switching in the back to make sure that everyone gets seen and everyone gets their time to shine yes yes so we'll have some brand new hosts for today's live show you guys will get to see all the videos but for Wake Up Missoula uh, I'm my name is Noah McFoy and I'm Scott Ramph and we'll see you guys in two weeks Take it away, ASAP. Here's ASAP.